Well, disappointment so straight after the game. It depends which side, though. There was the green side, there was the all-black side. But the one thing I can tell you is that it was dead silent at the end of that. Yeah. It might have run over by about two or so extra minutes, but the tension was palpable. But for the All Blacks, who would have ever guessed? 24-28, Tanda Manana, you looked as shocked. I have to be shocked, Rob. I think <laughs> throughout the entire game, that Alan never was in the lead. Yeah. You know, I, I, I kept on saying they'll come back, which they did, but Alan never was in the, in the lead. And I think for me, First and foremost, the disrespect from, you know, from the Irish supporters is what let, let them down first. Yeah. But also, what you have to understand, this was a wounded all-black team. Yeah. First time ever that they were beaten in the round-robin stages of the World Cup, and many people thought they would leave. Yeah. But now they've turned things around. And just important, the X-Factor players, Aaron Smith, hmm. Bowden Barrett, uh, you look at Maunga, number, you know, Savia. Yeah. Those players were quite influential in how the team sort of played itself out. In the first half, they were 13 nil up front. And you'd think that, you know, Ireland would, would let down. They yeah. didn't do that. Yeah. They came back in the game 13-10. Halftime 18-17. Yeah. Just told you that we've got a good second half coming yeah. up. But I think what Fozzie and the rest of the team, Smith and everyone, what they did is they... They, they went to the T in terms of their changes mm -hmm. and how they need to play. The up and unders work oh, tremendously. I mean, they were perfect, the but chip also, overs. I, I was going to say that just trying to acquire and accrue as many points early on as possible was what showed me the signs that here they are not going to take any chances. The 50 meter punt for me, nice and early on, accuracy going for the poles. And from there, I mean, Adi Sevilla became the man of the match at the end of, of the game, which again gives you an indication of what was happening on the field. But just the method, it was just fine margins right throughout. Rob, let's, let's start at the first. Yeah. The two penalties that Sexton didn't go for poles. That should have been question marks. Yeah. Why are they doing that? Overconfidence maybe, perhaps. Yeah. But also, lineouts were poor. Yeah. So, Ireland... Those two I flagged immediately. Lineouts were horrible throughout the first half. And if you look in the second half, when they started doing well, they had a penalty try given to them from a lineout mall, but also their lineouts improved, but it was a bit too late. Yeah. But also what's important throughout the game is the defense of the All Black team. They defended like Trojans. If you look how many phases towards the end, yeah. we had easily over 30. Of, of those phases, yeah, yeah. but they kept on defending and made sure that they don't give a penalty away to give the cross kick a line out because at that stage Ireland was very powerful in their driving yeah. malls. So I'm saying this was a well, well articulated game plan from the All Blacks. Yeah. They were the underdogs. They yeah. go home, remaining for the next two weeks in France searching for their fourth World, World Cup title. I mean, it's, a, it's an incredible achievement, uh, especially when you look at the run of play and you talk about to them being um, not the favorites, All Blacks, for the game itself. Now, they march on because we've got to quickly try and look ahead. Um, yes, it's a victory. This is not winning a World Cup. They've got to quickly gather together. Now, it's that final stretch. Do they have the legs? Have they showed you enough today that they can actually go all the way now? Well, they've got a, I won't say an easy semi-final. Yeah. They come up against an Argentina side who's beaten them. So they've beaten them in New Zealand. They can beat the All Blacks. So they're also going to take it very seriously in terms of what's coming for them. It's a, it's a Southern Hemisphere. It's a second Southern Hemisphere to go through. They know each other. They've just played each other in yeah. the rugby champs. So it's not going to be easy. But I think what Fozzy and Schmidt and everyone's going to do is going to give the boys some time off, check any injuries any UAs from within the team environment, hopefully if they get Talia back on the wing. He was heavily missed, but I'm sure it was just a one game off. Yeah. If he comes back, they look sharper again. But that was statement making in itself. Yeah. When you leave a big name like that for a disciplinary, yeah. even in the game, two yellows that they managed first yeah. half, second half, yeah. but they were able to, despite all of that, yeah. not allow that to put them on the back foot. Yeah, well, discipline for them was quite crucial. I yeah. mean, those two, uh, were all critical position yeah. from a scrum half and a hooker. Yeah. And I mean, Aaron Smith not being there, they conceded a try. Yeah. When the hooker was not there, uh, you know, for me, 
they were able to hold them yeah. and they couldn't score. They were held up over the try line. So they did well, but the defense has got to improve going forward because it's not going to be an easy job for them to go through. But also, if you, are, if you look at the whole dynamic of the game, not a lot of changes, yeah. not a lot of reserves coming on. So the momentum was quite key for the All Blacks. Yet the Irish panicked. They could have changed Johnny Sexton, but they kept him till the 80th minute. That now was just making sure they just hope and, and hope and hope that anything can go their final way towards the yeah, end. I mean, it's, it's been a World Cup of surprises, but then these surprises, how far can they take us? We need to put your crystal ball just finally. And I know South Africa still have got a big one tomorrow to play uh, as defending champions, as host nation. But what's your, what's your Tando Manana crystal ball looking like in terms of just the final two, the final of Rugby World Cup? You know what would be good, Rob? Yeah. Fiji beats England. That's another Southern Hemisphere team. You know what would be even more good? Yeah. South Africa breed and, and, and 70,000 French supporter. I'm definitely sure we've got 10,000 to 15,000 South Africans in Paris. So therefore, the remaining would come from the French. Yeah. So therefore, tomorrow, backs against the wall. But this is a South African side that can cause magic here tomorrow. We've got everything. We've got the brute force. Yeah. We've got the running rugby. We've got the creativity. Yeah. But most important, how is our calmness? Our calmness, how calm are we when we faced with what we're facing with this big wave of the French coming at us, blue wave coming at us. For me, I certainly feel Sia, Dwayne, Peter Steph, Bongi Bonambi, Damien Willemse, Mani Libo, those guys play a very critical role tomorrow. Brotherhood. Those are the key individuals. Brotherhood. And, and you know, one of the funniest stories, as I said, being part of the crowd as well, yeah. there's no South Africa playing. Yeah. All Blacks are leading and Shoshaloza starts to sing. Yeah. Bob, let's go. Hashtag MSW. Are you ready? Malawi Sports Worldwide.